So our focus today is, of course, our lesson number six is going to focus more on party now, polubi later. Welcome everyone to Nurse Jose. Of course, uh, this is going to be a continuation of our money lesson uh, vlog. And of course, this is going to be our episode number six. And of course, as what I mentioned before, this money lesson is actually taken from this book, uh, Diary of Apolube, or Diary of Apolube. 22 money lessons on how to avoid getting broke. Okay, so if you are actually new to this channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. At the same time, please don't forget also to hit the notification bell for you to be notified with my succeeding uploads of this channel. So today is a brand new episode of this uh, money lesson. And of course, as what I mentioned before, this money lesson is actually taken from this book, uh, Diary of Epulube, 22 money lessons on how to avoid getting broke. And that's going to be courtesy of Jinky Tan. He's actually a wealth and life coach. So our focus today is, of course, our lesson number six is going to focus more on party now, polubi later. So this is going to be the contents of this uh, lesson. And of course, I, will, uh, I would like to ask your permission to allow me to read the portion of this book uh, in relation to what is actually in this specific uh, lesson. Okay, the, our, talk, our topic is party now, polubi later. Filipinos are known for celebrating occasions, whether big or small. Masaya at anxiety nga naman. Siyempre, gusto natin maging festive at memorable ang bawat sandali. We celebrate life events like birthdays, fiesta, binyag, graduation, etc. Wala namang masama kung tayo'y magdiwang. As long as we do not borrow money to do it. Kung within budget, or may extra pera tayo, para dito walang problema. Pero, if our savings get depleted just for the sake of being able to throw a party, may malina. Bakit nga ba nabubutas ang bulsa sa tuwing may okasyon? The first reason is why is it that most of the time we have problems with our finances, especially if there is an ongoing celebration at home. First is, Imbitado ang buong barangay. Nandiyan ang immediate family. Ang second cousins, apo, apo sa tuhod, pati yata, apo sa kuko at kapitbahay. Pati si nakagawad at kapitan. Naku, lahat imbitado. Walang pinalagpas. May habit kasi tayo na kapag may okasyon, imbitado ang lahat. Kahit pwede naman, sanang wala doon sa event. Ang rason? nakakahiyang hindi imbitahin. Moments like this are meant to be celebrated with people you are close to. Mas intimate, mas maganda. Para madama natin kung momentous events at hindi maging stress sa kaka-entertain at pagpapa-impress sa iba. Pangalawang reason is malabudol fight sa dami ng handa. Ito ang izena. Kapag baboy, Nandiyan ang adobong baboy, sinigang na baboy, inihaw na baboy. Kapag chicken, meron doon fried chicken, uh, chicken afritada, chicken tinola. Kapag isda naman, may inihaw na isda, pritong isda, rilyan ng isda. Looks familiar, right? Chinky, di ba okay lang naman ito? Okay lang sana. Kung a few variants, Pero kung lahat ng klase ng luto ay ihahain just to please our guests, thinking na magiging masaya sila kapag maraming pagbipilian, talagang mawawala ka sa budget. Remember, kung ano lang ang kaya, yun lang. Yung simple, isang ulam o dalawa lang. It doesn't matter. Don't pressure yourself. It is their presence that counts. The next one, Competition. Mas maganda sa hotel para social tignan. Dapat mas maganda, dapat mas ingrande tayo, no? Ay, nako. Huwag mag-alala, anak. Tatalbugan natin sila. 
kaya lang naman, palaki ng palaki ang gastusin natin dahil ang hilig natin tumingin yung kung anong meron sila. Dapat meron din tayo o higit pa. Ang tendency, ang tendency doon, patong-patong na wish list ang nangyayari, di bali ng mangutang, magipet, o wala ng panggastos, bukas, basta, makakalamang-lamang. And it all goes back to. The last reason is, it all goes back to the next reason which is all about our pride. Kasi, dapat yung ingranding handaan mo ngayon ay mauulit sa susunod na okasyon. Natatakot kasi tayong masabihan ng bakit nagtitipid ba sila? Wala na ba silang budget? Bakit naghihirap na sila? So tayo naman, so, so tayo naman, so tayo naman, ayaw nating pag-isipan tayo ng ganito. Kaya we go beyond our means just to shield ourselves from being the subject of gossip. Swallow your pride. Mag, maghigpit ng sinturon, kaya naman, maghirap tayo in the future. Kaysa naman, maghirap tayo in the future dahil lang sa nag, nagpadala tayo sa sasabihin ng iba. So, in my own opinion, this specific lesson tells us on things that we need to make sure, especially if there is an occasion. Of course, occasions are actually uh, expected to happen, like for example, birthday, uh, christening, fiesta, or whatever celebrations that you're going to have at home. But you have to remember always that if you're going to have these uh, occasions in your own family, you have to limit your, your invites. You have to limit your you have to limit the people that you're actually going to invite it's because of course that has to be depending on your capacity to to buy the, the, your capacity to prepare your food so at, as much as possible you you have to make sure that your guest is gonna be uh is gonna be there but of course not the entire community you have to make sure also that you are you can afford to feed them or to let them eat your available uh food during this occasion and at the same time, we have to remember also that we have to get rid of this pride because of course, uh, this pride is not giving us uh, benefit. This pride usually is going to make us being uh, become more boastful with our capacity to prepare such occasion. So as much as possible, we have to make sure that uh, we will only prepare things or we only prepare food that is in accordance to our budget because our budget is going to be <clears throat> the basis on our capacity to prepare different kinds of food. So, to continue, of course, I'll be leaving you this question. You can actually have your answer below or you can actually have that one in the comment section of this blog. I'll leave the, you the questions posed by Chinky Tang. Think, reflect, and apply. Are you a wise spender during occasions? Kung hindi, bakit lumagpas sa budget mo? What can you save? What can you save on para makaiwas sa utang? So of course, the 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 lesson that we are, that we have talked about today is actually focusing more on our capacity to to be financially stable, especially when we have certain occasions in in the family. We have to remember always that these occasions are not a reflection of our of our being rich, but this occasion is gonna be a celebration of an event that happens in the family and of course this occasion will tell us that intimate event is gonna be significant rather than you are you are going to have more uh, guests to come to come especially in your in your event but of course it's gonna be essential for us to remember that when you are going to have such occasion it has to be depending on your budget of course your budget is gonna be uh, your own money it's not gonna be taken from your savings but of course that's gonna be your personal money so you have to remember always that your capacity to pay a specific uh, event or specific occasion depends on your budget as much as possible do not borrow money from anyone because of course later on you'll have uh, some difficulty in paying those uh, Depths of yours, especially for an event. Do not, do not actually. Uh, uh, you have to make sure that you will only prepare things that is needed for that specific, um, specific event. And of course, as much as possible, do not impress people. 
you have to make sure that you are uh, letting them know that that is your capacity. That is your uh, that is what you can do, especially in order to address that event. Okay, thank you so much for watching this vlog. Of course, if you're actually new to this channel, please don't forget to hit the, sub the subscribe button, and please also don't forget to click the notification bell for you to be updated with my succeeding uploads and at the same time please don't forget to like this video and of course if you have some comments comment down below of course that will be the basis of our future vlog thank you so much bye for now this has been nurses say the future of nursing thank you bye